You know, if all this really happens, how come we don't have something on the Egyptian side saying, look what happened to us? You know, so like when you go to Egypt, uh, and again, kind of like Israel, you should, if you get a chance to go, you should go, because they have the most amazing museums in the world. You know, but they are a little, little they kind of they kind of pick which which pharaohs they like the best to highlight. Uh, and but really, when you kind of deal with the with with Egypt and you deal with the 19th dynasty, you're you're looking at one of the most powerful periods of their history. And so it's sort of like, what do you mean Israel was in Egypt and they were delivered miraculously? You know, because movies tell us that Yul Brenner uh, is, is Ramesses. You know, and so when we look to Hollywood, Hollywood always tells us that it's Ramesses because he's bald and good looking. And then you have Prince of Egypt, Ramesses, who's also bald and good looking. And then you have the latest Exodus movie, which I don't know who that is, but he's bald and good looking. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> external evidence of the great exodus, when really if you can kind of center it in, if you could pinpoint the Pharaoh that, had, that was on the throne during the account, then you actually can understand a lot about biblical history. The reason why most people assume that it's, uh, it's Ramesses is because they use kind of these uh, very uh, uh, kind of fanciful thinking with the numbers. They'll, they'll, find, they'll find the Babylonian exile and that 480 years prior to that, that was the exodus. Not really understanding that sometimes the Bible is using numbers to tell a story, not necessarily to get a certain number across. And so when you take that back 480 years and when they think all that went down, then you kind of have, well, Ramesses on the throne. But I think there's a better question. You know, the question this shouldn't necessarily be from, from where, how far back from the exile is it? The better question would be something like this. If all the terrible events associated with the exodus actually occurred as the Bible describes, what would have happened?